Hello! Welcome to day 25. Totally didn't do that wrong. Anyway, 25, hello. As you can probably tell by the title, I haven't done any drawing. I kind of fell in the hole of playing Animal Crossing today. So, and I've had sort of a break day today from doing proper work and stuff like that. So I'm just sort of chilling. So, what am I going to teach you? I'm going to teach you how to make this wonderful Spanish box that I made two video a video ago two videos a few videos ago I made this this wonderful Spanish box which you can put things in I don't recommend pens put smaller objects in like this sharpener fits very nicely in or in sort of tiny things Easter's coming up you can make these into small little Easter basket things put some pretend straw in there and some uh, mini eggs put that in there boom lovely nice Easter box thing yeah so what do you need a piece of paper would be great so you need a piece of, you usually probably have an A4 piece of paper you can make it smaller bigger whatever so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this piece of paper and you're going to Fold it like so until you sort of got the corner in a nice sort of comb shape there like that. And then you'll sort of bend it down and then you'll get your nice square piece that you need for origami. You can either do this with paper that you find around or if you want when you're doing your food shop and stuff go buy some proper origami paper that's usually in the square already. Now, I'm using a fig cup paper, so folding it's going to be harder, but also you get a sturdier box. So depending on how difficult you want it to be, or how sturdy you want it, depends on how thick paper you want. Now, you can either do a trick of folding this several times and then ripping it, or you can just use scissors. I'm using scissors because then I know that if it rips I don't have to make another one. But this does mean you don't get an exact straight sort of line unless you're really good at cutting with scissors. Which I'm reasonably alright at. You know. So we have this. So you're going to unfold it this way and then you're going to take this top corner and you're going to fold it to the opposite corner. Like that. Fold it. I recommend doing this on a nice sort of flat surface because then it should be easy to fold and stuff like that. So we now have a square that's got a crease line going in that way and a crease line going in this way. So if you're wondering why I keep staring over there, it's because the, my I can see myself over there, and so I can see what I'm showing you. Um, so yeah, you want those two creases. So what you want to do next? You want to take a corner. We're going to do this with all the corners. You're going to take the corner and you're going to fold it into the center. Like that. And then nicely folded like that. And you're going to do that with all, for all the corners. Here you have four corners nicely folded into the center. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip this like that. And then you're going to do it again. You're going to take the corners and you're going to fold them into the middle. So, uh, da -da -da -da. So like that. I'm gonna do that with all, all of the corners. All the corners. Now, because I didn't do the square very exact, the thing isn't exactly neat. Anyway, so we have it from this bit. So, um, you want it on the side where it's sort of like you've got the two bits in there like that. Uh, we want it on this side. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take uh, one of the corners, take it to about I think, I think it's about a third of the way up and then you're going to fold it outwards like so I haven't done that exactly straight but there you go you fold it out like that and you're going to do that with each of the corners on that side uh, what I recommend is from that one corner sort of thing you use that as a sort of guideline of where to fold the other ones so as you can see here I've made it so that folds sort of in line with that bit there like that so, and then you, yeah, do that with all of them. So then it should look like this. 
this nice diamond shape. So we're then going to flip it over because that's the bottom of the box. Now we're going to make the top and corner bits. So next part of this, you're going to take the sort of one of the center corner things and you're going to fold them inwards towards the sort of corner. Let me try and like that. So it sort of folds in up to the corner. And you do with that with all of them. So I like origami because it's sort of you don't need much to do it really. As long as you know the patterns and how to do the things, it's pretty simple and easy. So we have all of these folded this way, and now we get tiny bit fiddly. So like we did with the sort of uh, bottom of the box, we're going to fold in the corner, sort of towards the middle. So we're going to take a corner. You take it and you're going to fold it towards the middle like that and then you're going to take that same corner fold it out trying to make sure that you um, fold it so it's in line with your sort of bottom bit there previous fold in a way and then fold a tiny bit of the top right here so then it forms a sort of zigzag so it's sort of in out in out and you tend to only get at least three folds doing that so you do that. Do that with all of them. So there we have. Now we've got all of these zigzags. So now we have the fun bit. So you're going to take a corner. You're going to take two fingers, well finger and thumb. You're going to put stick two fingers or one finger underneath here. Right. And as you're doing, you're going to then pinch with these two. Just pinch it. Don't matter about the rest of the box. You just pinch that bit. And then you go to the next corner and pinch. And you go to the whoop, you drop the box and that right. You get to the next corner and you pinch. You get to the next corner and you pinch. And now it looks like this is a bit weird. So then you just sort of sort it out. Um, poke underneath, pinch it a bit. Oh, why are you doing that? It's wanting to become a um what's it called? fortune teller. I don't know why. Pinch it. So you got to make sure you pinch it um, on the sort of, on the foldy bits, so on the corner. So if I unpinch this. So you want to make sure you pinch it on these bits right here. Those bits. And then nicely pinch like that. And then you sort of make sure it's all nice and stuff. And there you go! one Spanish box and that's how you make it simple easy um, not too much effort and you could just put random things in it it's a nice little decorative box yeah um, I could also teach you how to do a boat because boats are easy and you've got this leftover paper we might as well do a boat so Real quick, it's too long, so we need to take off a bit. Try and get it so that it's sort of. Mm, we want it to be sort of that, that size. So we're just gonna. This is how you do the uh, crease method, by the way. You, go, mm, you drop it again. No, right. You fold it, and then you can use your nails to then really crease that nicely. You just keep doing that a few times and then you rip the top like that and then you want to on a flat surface two hands either side and you just uh you're sort of pushing out like that and then it nicely rips like that so right we've got this i'm gonna make a boat so what you do fold it in half nice easy fold it in half again Ooh. simple really but there you go you got that unfold it uh, then you want it so that the open bit is on the bottom. You then take a corner, fold it inwards to the sort of um, halfway, which is the crease line, which you've already got there. So you fold it like that. And then you do it on the other side. Same sort of thing. Like this. So now you've got sort of a roof to a house. So then you're going to take the uh, one of the flaps, you're going to fold it inwards. So you're going to fold it upwards. So 
you're gonna fold it like that. So you take it and you fold it up like that. And you then turn it onto the other side and do the same. So now you've really got a sailor's hat. So that's how you make a sailor's hat from that point. There's your sailor's hat. So then from this, you want to like it this. To make it into a boat, you need you just pull and then push it in like that. So you pulling it and then pushing it. And then you see how these bits are like that. You can just push them underneath each other like this. So you just push it under there nicely. Ooh. Now you got a diamond. So like before, you want the open bit on the bottom. You're then gonna take a corner and fold it upwards like so. So you're taking the flap and you're folding it upwards. And then you're going to turn it on the other side and do the same. Oh, then you've got a nice little triangle again. Yep. So you poke it open. Whoop. And then you push it down. Boop. And then here's the magic bit. You ready for this? So where you have two bits that are sort of slidey open, like here, you're going to take those two on the other side. You're going to pitch them. And then you're going to pull them outwards. Me. Uh, you might need to push in that bit a bit. And then you're gonna squeeze it. And then, what up? You have a tiny little boat. And you can sail it. And go, woo, silly boat. There you go, paper boat. And uh, you can, what you can do is, right at the bottom, you can poke yourself in that. If you make it big enough, you've made a tiny hat. A tiny little hat, look. Now the, oops, oh, you drop it again, alright. No, now my mic has a tiny little hat. So that's how you make a Spanish box and a boat uh, with origami. I hope you enjoyed this weird little tutorial. I will do some drawing tomorrow. Hopefully. We shall see. But as always, as we say goodbye on this thing somehow, bye!